Somebody says skincare routine, please. Cooking is very therapeutic for me. Oh, my face regimen. Mm. What do I use? Or am I drawing a blank? Is it like Aveeno? I use a few things. I'll show you guys. Like a serum. One day I'll, I'll go live and do my face wash stuff. Touring soon. Yes, I'm in rehearsals now. Hence to why I am changing my eating. Tour dates and all that stuff coming soon. And I also have a surprise for you guys. Some beauty stuff I'm getting into. Which I've I already was into it, but I'm really, like, launching some cool stuff and also preparing for tour. And I also started my new project, so. And I'm going to shoot some videos. I know y'all want a video for cold. I know y'all want a video for cold and reckless. So we're working on that with French as well. Mm -hmm. better. Okay, let's read those comments. I love your voice. Thank you. How is Mama G? She is good. I don't know. She's been kind of. Mm -hmm. Um, after touching the family, you also touched your phone. Um, actually, I never touched the salmon. Not one time. Except you're paying attention. I put, um, oh, when I put the salmon on the thing, yes, I always wash my hands. I'm a very clean cook, and I'm actually, um, OCD. So my bone is actually propped up, and I'm just now touching it to slide through comments because I can't see what you guys are saying. So I don't need you to uh, be the freaking... watch of cooking because I do this okay all right now I can take a break I'm honestly trying really hard to um like not drink juice just drink water not eat snacks it's like so hard you want to see the salmon when I'm finished okay I'll go live when it's done I will go live and I will show y'all You know I got a thing for you. The view outside, yes, that's my backyard. You can kind of see, but it's like, there's a pool and jacuzzi back there. The song I did with Famous Dex. Well, Famous Dex had jumped in my DMs and said, I love you. And then I talked to him on the phone and he said he wanted to work. And I was like super excited about it. And I'm like, let's do it. I wrote him back and then we linked in New York. We did this dope ass record. And then he's like, I really want you on my album. And I'm like, all right, bet, let's do it. So I think we did a few records. I don't remember how many, but then he sent over my label like an invoice and it was like pay him basically not like an exchange of each other and I just kind of felt like and the, it was a crazy invoice like it was up there like like I just got offset on the record up there and I'm not minimizing his talent because he's dope as fuck but I just kind of was like nigga how are you gonna DM me and ask me to work ask me to get on your album we cut a record cut another record we decide that we're gonna go with MIA as the single and then you send you have your people come meet me in the studio they jumping up and down in the studio all excited like we getting ready to go to radio this is the single I'm so hyped bah 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 and um sent as a crazy ass invoice and it's just like that's cool if that's understanding from the beginning like look I want to work this we charge woo, woo. or if I reached out to him and then he was like this is my fee so 
close-up. I said, can you do a close-up on your nails? So, I mean, I'm not mad. It's all love or whatever, but I'm just like, if you're going to ask, just future reference, when people ask me to, it's like when people ask me to wear their wigs. It's annoying. Like, can you wear my unit? Oh, my God, I love you so much. Can I send you some hair? And then you're like, okay, but I already have different hair people I use already, so I'm kind of straight, but I'm like, all right, let me check them out. And then they send me a crazy invoice. And you're like, but I wasn't. You solicited me. I don't know. I just think that that's weird. If I solicit you, then you can send me uh, your price. But I had a few people. That's really annoying. Don't hit my DM if you're on that. I hate when people DM me and ask, um, like, to give me something. And then I'm like, oh, okay, I'm down. I like this one. And then they're like, oh, okay buy it buy three buy this and it's just like why did you even hit me let me hit you to purchase your product or hit me and right away be like hey i'm we would love for you to see you in our hair we're selling it for this much and then i can decide if it's worth it to get to spend my money here otherwise i could just hit tokyo and buy a wig from him for the same price and he's the wig king <laughs> like people don't think that's like me hitting up a, a um, like a place to perform and begging them to let me perform. Like, please, I really want to perform at your venue. I promise I could pack it out. Let me perform at your venue. I promise I could pack it out. Like, I'm, I'm so talented, like selling myself, sending stuff. But if they hit me up, then it's different. You see what I'm saying? How it works. Thank you. I'm going to get more on my arm. But that's, that's just the way it works. Like, so it's annoying. You was the crazy one on Love and Hip Hop. I love you. <laughs> okay. I guess that's like a compliment. Mama life is a lot. It's crazy. You know, I was crazy for numerous reasons. Um, first of all, I didn't know I was pregnant, so I was really irritable. And I didn't know I was pregnant, so I'm like, whatever. And I just had some hormonal things going on, and I don't know what the problem was. And I blame 50% of it on that. The other 50% is on being lied on by castmates and just like having to defend myself about my baby like that was just really stressful so now everybody's like oh my god you look so much like a1 and i'm just like so you know i get it everybody has their problems though me and a1 were definitely having problems so it happens People break up, get back together, it happens. If you just think you're going to have a perfect but if your relationship is perfect and you think it's perfect, then you really should do some investigating because nothing is perfect. No relationship is perfect. And that's okay. If you love the person, you should stick it through and work it out. You don't got to be perfect all the time. It's not going to be perfect. They're going to get on your nerves. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the way a nigga eat get on your nerves. If like a person sneeze, you'd be like, the way they talk sometimes, especially like when they have a headache and you don't want to be toxic. I don't know, maybe it's a Sagittarius thing. So, yeah. Hmm. So, my tolerance was like super low. Thank you, Laura. Ocean's laying down. Are you planning on giving Ocean a sibling in the future? Um, I'm not exactly planning that, no. <laughs> I would be lying. My baby's drinking three to four ounces. He is in his bed. He's in there with his papa. And when he's cooking. I'm just like a family girl. Sagittarius are such family people. You know what I'm saying? My auntie came down here. And, um, yeah. Thank for you. Well, you dropped your pacifier, not me. Yeah.
type of stuff. Say hi. Hi, Papa. Say hi.